So I used to think that success was something that you pursue, right? If you don't have any money, you need to go figure out a way to earn more money. If you're overweight, you need to figure out a way to eat less and go work out more. And if you're unfulfilled in your relationships, somehow you need to go find the right person. But the biggest shift I made in my life was rather than going from pursuing success or thinking that it was something outside of me, I learned that success is actually something you attract when your inner character changes. So in this video here today, I want to introduce you guys to this idea of success being an inside job. It's a quote that goes around a lot, but I want to share what it means to me and how it's dramatically improved my life. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. So one of my favorite personal development speakers, Earl Nightingale, he tells the story of people trying to, for example, earn a large income. And he says that everyone is trying to find a way to get that. But rather than doing that, try consciously picking a number that to you is your ideal life. So for some people, maybe that's $5,000 a month or other people it's $20,000 a month. But the point is to figure out what is the number that would be for your ideal life, factoring in everything. And then from there, trying to grow into the kind of person that could earn that income. So if you want $10,000 a month, because that is your ultimate freedom number, rather than thinking, okay, how do I find the job with $10,000 a month, right? That's looking outside for the job or the opportunity. Rather, it is when I have the skills and the traits of the kind of person that earns $10,000 a month, that will naturally happen. So let's say, for example, right now you have a sales job and you're earning $2,000 a month and it's nothing near what you need to have your magic number. Well, you could just as easily be like, why am I not getting this promotion? This job sucks. I hate my boss. Or you could think, what is the difference between me as a salesperson earning $2,000 a month versus me as the $10,000 a month salesperson? And obviously, if you were making $2,000 a month, you're only worth $2,000 a month. So the $10,000 a month salesperson at your job, and there is one, they're doing things different. They may have better sales skills. They may sell to higher value clients. They may work more hours. The fact is they're doing something differently than you are. And when you think about what is the kind of person I need to become to get the $10,000 a month sales job, that will naturally happen. When you're worth twice as much because of your skill change, you will then earn twice as much. Now, this is just a metaphor for improving anything in life, right? It's just like, if I want to lose 30 pounds, I could just as easily be like, what's the diet? What's the workout? But that, to me, is the wrong question. If you want to focus on it being an inside job, the right question is, what is the person who's 30 pounds lighter's habits? What are they actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis? If, you, if it's not you, then find a person who's done it. They obviously eat different things. So with weight loss and fitness, it's a great example. Again, the outside approach would be to look for what do I find, what do I eat, what do I do, rather than the inside job is who do I need to become? There's different habits of the 30 pound lighter you. There's different habits in the really toned you, right? Find someone who's done it or just abstractly think about what habits I need to cultivate of that ideal self. And the same is true in dating. It's just like everyone jokes about like, I want to attract the perfect 10. Guys say this a lot, right? I want to find the perfect 10. And yet they themselves are not their perfect 10. And this is an incongruence where if you are not charming and have great conversational skills and fit and happy and healthy and do what you love and you're not a quality person in relationships and a giver, how can you possibly expect to attract the 10 that you want in relationships? Right? It's magnetism. And so the outside approach is, how do I get the 10? What's the perfect pickup line? Like, do I have to be this jacked bro that drives a BMW M5? In reality, the guys that are the highest quality or the women that are the highest quality, they're dripping in options because they already are the 10 holistically. And so they naturally attract higher quality, higher quality people, right? So if you go from the outside approach, how do I get that person? Two, how do I become the person who will then attract that person? It's a completely different way to live your life where you take personal responsibility, you focus on your own self-growth, and you're clear about who do I need to become internally first that will then attract these things that I want. 
So it's like, it's kind of a subtle shift, but it's really is, it was for me anyway, one of the biggest differences I made in my life because it's completely different looking outside versus looking inside for where the growth needs to be. So I hope that helps. Before you go, leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what is the one aspect of your life you need to work on the most? All right, guys, so I hope that video helped. The best way to stay in touch is to first download that free seven-day personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. The link is in the description there below as well. Otherwise, you can check out the last two videos that just came out right here and right here.